First, connect the Wi-Fi antenna. Then, connect the power supply. If you are connecting three or more devices, it is recommended to connect an external stabilizer to avoid tripping. Next, install the regulator. Place the side with the bend inside the P42. The left side is for inlet while the right side is for outlet. Connect an external air source to the inlet on the side with a bend and then connect its outlet to your device through regulator. Turn on your device's power switch and check its air pressure gauge. If it shows less than 0.6 MPa, adjust your pressure regulator accordingly until it reaches above 0.6 MPa. If there is any sudden drop in air pressure during operation, evaluate whether or not there is sufficient air supply available. Finally, open up your water tank's bottom drawer and remove its water tank when necessary. Measure 250 milliliters of cutting fluid and pour it into the water tank. Add 2.5 liters of water, with a water to oil ratio of 10 to 1. Cover both the water tank lid and small box. Then align the water tank with the outlet port before putting it back in place. Close and tighten the water tank drawer. Then turn on the power button. Click on maintenance button, followed by water spray. Conduct a 10 minute test for spraying water. Then open the cabin door to position the dental burr accordingly. For rough milling glass ceramics, use number 1 milling burr. For precision milling of glass ceramics, use number 2. For processing teeth contouring made from glass ceramics material, use number 3. The installation is complete. Click on Maintenance button, then click on Calibration button. Follow the prompts to clean. Ensure it is clean and dry. Remove the calibration cap after the equipment stops. Clean the calibration ring. Wipe the spindle. Ensure the spindle is clean. Clean the knife sensor and tool rest surfaces. Then, according to the display prompt, install the calibration disc. Place the calibration bar in position 6 of the blade rack. Click on Start Calibration button. Wait for the calibration to complete. After calibration is complete, remove the calibration disc. Put the calibration cap back on the calibration ring. P42 calibration is now completed. Insert the USB drive containing the files to be processed into the USB port. Click on Import and select the files to be processed. Click Confirm. Open the P42 and ensure that the burr is placed in the corresponding position. Cover the calibration cap. Click on Incline. Place the glass ceramic according to the processing position during nesting. After confirming that all necessary files have been uploaded, click on Start. Wait for the processing to complete. Remove the best results. And processing is complete. Wait for 5 minutes after the milling is complete. Slowly open the drawer of the water tank. Slowly remove the small box. Keep one end tilted during the removal process. Allow the cutting fluid in the small box to flow into the water tank. Open the water tank cover and pour the cutting fluid into the sink. Rinse the water tank. The filter cartridge does not need to be removed. It can be rinsed directly with water. Ensure that the powder is rinsed off completely. Clean the small box and the cover in the same way.
After cleaning, add cutting fluid and water in the correct proportion, then restore the cover and the small box. Place the water tank back into the drawer and push it firmly to close. Click on Maintenance button, then click on Water Spray. Wait for 2 minutes for the water spray cycle. Click again to stop the water spray. Water tank cleaning and maintenance is complete. Click on Maintenance button, then click on Calibration. Click on Check Cleaning, then click on Open, Close Call It. Wait for the P42 to stop running. Take out the maintenance toolkit. Take out the black check screw ring. Use it with the milling burr. Insert the screw ring into the chuck end and place it in the chuck. Using the screw ring, loosen the chuck counterclockwise and remove it from its position. After removing the chuck, soak it in alcohol. After soaking in alcohol, use lint-free paper to wipe the inner and outer walls of the chuck and both ends. Make sure it is clean and free of visible stains. Then use a cleaning brush to clean the inside of the chuck. After wiping to the outer wall of the threaded end of the chuck, applying a small amount of compatible lubricating grease. Use the matching cleaning brush to wipe the inner wall of the spindle. Try to clean the stains on the inner wall of the spindle. Place the clean chuck in the loosened state of the spindle. Gently tighten it clockwise. Then use the screw ring and burr to secure the chuck tightly. When pre-tightening, the chuck must have a milling burr to prevent excessive tightness or uneven force. Once completed, your chuck maintenance is finished.